Wait, hang on. This thing doesn't even have a mic jack in? No. This is so cool. That means I can like clip it like a vlogger the whole time, is it? Your only choice. And can roll. Hey, everybody. Check this out. The new Ceremony Blink 100. This clip-on microphone that comes with two transmitters and one receiver is really awesomely small. But before I do anything, here's my advice to you. Before you clip anything on, the mic is still on. Mute this. Unmute so that your friend handling the audio who's monitoring this don't lose an ear. Let's start with the good points and bad points of the Bling 100. Right our usual good points, bad points, good point number one. Just to give you an idea how lightweight this 16.5 gram is, this is 16.5 gram. This is more than 16.5 gram. This is 16.5 gram. And this too. So yeah, very small. I always do this earlobe test to see whether the clip is strong enough. Yeah, I feel the pinch. Number two, to see whether you feel your ear sagging. If it doesn't, that means the microphone is really light. So, you know what? And the new ceremony earring. That's an awesome 129 US dollar e pair of earrings. Very simple interface, easy to use. You don't need a degree in what audiography. What do, what do you call this? Never mind. You've got a button that turns this on. The same button mutes it. You have the plus button, which actually increases the volume. The minus button reduces the volume. If you press both of them together, it's noise reduction, which is cool. It's like a filter. That's what I like about this microphone. Not only is it small, it's easy to understand. And then you have a little jack here, which looks like a USB-C. Nothing else looks like a USB-C, so don't stick anything else to it. And then the clip behind and at the front here, you have three holes. Two is where you install the windshield, the muff, and the other one is the microphone. So I've got this unit muted here. So when it's muted, it's red in color. And when it's not muted, it's blue in color. And is it blinking? No, it's a solid blue. Red, blinking red means muted. Good point number three, it's interesting to have knowledge of low pass filter, high pass filter, low cut filter, all that. But it's even easier as a filmer or audio person to just like get a microphone, do my vlogging, I just want to press these two buttons and there you have it, noise reduction, which is symbolized by the NR symbol here. So I don't exactly know how they reduce noise, you know, in life, we don't need to know how that works as long as it works. So just to give you an idea, this is without the NR noise reduction. Hey guys, it's me again. Andrew asked me to do this again. Hope I get a race soon, Andrew, for doing all these things again. So there's an aircon compressor behind me. It's blowing really loud. So we're going to test the noise reduction for this mic. So let's see how this goes. Without noise reduction, Now I'm going to switch on the noise reduction. Listen to that. That sounds so well, it sounded like it hit the mute button. Oh hey, did you watch this episode where I was talking about filters included in microphones? So I was talking about this particular microphone. You should watch this review. This is one of my favorite reviews because that was a truly decked out mic. The Blink 500 Pro X B2. It's a fantastic mic, but that mic doesn't have a filter. So I reached out to Ceremony asking like, why do you have all the features in the Pro XB2, but you don't have any of the filters? And the reply that I get from Ceremony is that every mic specifically created for its target usage. That is more like pre-recorded or recording stuff. This one, the Blink 500, is meant for live usage, which means that it's a live stream, right? You want to go on Facebook and sell your fishes online? You use this microphone so you can press these two things together, these two knobs together and you get noise reduction and immediately it cuts away all your in-laws <laughs> at the background. The next good point has to be the price. Check this out. The Bling 100 comes in two variants. The one transmitter, one receiver. The price is just US dollar 99 
And then you have the two transmitter to one receiver. You can clip this to two of your hosts or actors. And that's just one to nine, which means that that one additional transmitter is only this much. So check out the price. This is an amazing price for a microphone that small, no fuss, ready to use. And here's the amazing thing. This is so well thought of by the marketing and product team of Ceremonic. There are six choices that you can choose. You have the two transmitter, one receiver. This one, you can connect to your mirrorless or DSLR or even your smartphone by using the TRRS cable. And then you have the two transmitter and one receiver. But this receiver has a lightning jack which you can connect to your smartphone if you don't own a DSLR or mirrorless. And speaking of which, shooting videos with your smartphone is totally something awesome. I just did a new episode we just wanted to go out there to explore whether we can use a smartphone and really do a commercial type quality video. And we kind of pull it off. Wait for that episode. Right, so if you are doing that, then this is the choice to go. But then I understand many of us still use the Android. You have the transmitter, the similar thing, but then the receiver has a jack that goes into your Android phone. And total, you have six different choices. If you're ever not sure, get the one that supports the 3.5mm jack. And then of course, if you are a iPhone user, you don't have the 3.5mm jack, then you would need to have a special dongle. Now you know where to get that. Next good point, every unit of the microphone has a USB-C. The one on the transmitters are used to charge the transmitters, but the one on the receiver, the one that you're seeing here, can be connected to a USB-C which you can connect to a computer and that becomes a digital interface. Hi, this is a Ceremonic Blink 100 live audio monitoring test. It's directly into your computer and then the file that you record, it's real time. That is really awesome. That reminds me of the time when you have that what, roll and cake walk. Yeah, those MIDI interface. Remember the sound devices that we have? That was, we bought that for the specific reason. So we can like immediately see the waveform coming in, forming on your audacity when you're recording this. Wow. World has changed. And the world has become smaller and cheaper. And real-time digital. What's the battery life? 10 hours. 10 hours on this small little package? Wow. These days, battery ratings coming from manufacturers are somewhat more accurate. I would say that they are like maybe 15% off, which means that this is still, what, eight and a half hours. I don't want to even try this. <laughs> you know why I know I don't want to try this? Because I work six hours a day. <laughs> don't tell boss. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you too, right? You guys are like taking two hours break. Oh, I'm going to test this. We don't even have eight hours meeting. 10 hours rated battery life, amazing. I mean, easily can clock, eight hours. All right, here's my next question, Ji Chong. What is the line of sight for this thing? 50 meters. 50 meters compared to a lot of units out there, which say they are about 100, they normally get about 90. Here's the thing, 25 is more than sufficient for a flimmer. I just don't understand why you need like 100 meters, which it's, you know what I like about microphones? Microphones that I can like clip into exactly into this pocket. You know what? So that I don't lose it. This, this is so cool. It just goes in there and doesn't come out. <laughs> right? This, the small package form factor is more important than me that making it bigger and then that distance. Because do we ever film that far? Be known that this is 50 meters. The small form factor for me is more important then making something bigger and bulkier and then give you 100 meters, which I don't use. I've never used 100 meters. So look at a typical situation. We are only using about two to five meters most of the time. Anything bigger and longer than that, you know what? Do a VO, do a B-roll, do a Foley, whatever. You know why? Because you're not Michael Bay. So how many stars? Okay, this is the first time that I'm looking at things differently. I've always looked at the features that they have, you know, that 100 meters of distance, the 10 hours or 15 hours of battery life, the low cut filter, the high pass filter, the volume button. You know what? For once, I'm looking at this is that if I'm going to get a microphone, Yichong, clip on me, use my smartphone, because you know why? 
I'm starting to look at things very differently after making all these different videos. I'm starting to think that, you know what, use a simple camera, get a simple microphone. I'm not looking at this from a perspective that I'm comparing it with the high end. I mean, just look at the price. It's not a fair comparison. This is like 99, 129 US dollars. So my score for the Ceremonic Bling 100, a four star. Yi Chong? Uh, from a professional standpoint, I will give it a three maybe because it cannot be upgraded anymore. Okay, that was what I was trying not to do. This is not meant, I mean, look at the price. It's not meant for professional filmers like us. It's meant for somebody to clip it to your collar and not even hiding your aircon. Could you hear it? If you can't hear it, then it's good. Yeah, true. If you're looking at this as a professional filmer, a guy that has dealt with like 15 microphones throughout your career, then yeah. But then this is meant for somebody to just clip it this way, pop up the phone on your little phone cradle and then start doing cooking. So this is just perfect. Right? <laughs> what do you want to do? Hide this microphone and then get a whole audio crew with four guys working on this? <laughs> and then label the microphone? This is for Brad Pitt, this is for... No, come on. Stop being a pro sometimes. <laughs> so viewers, in conclusion, if you want a microphone, no frills, no fast, clip it to your collar, ready to run with the noise reduction option that you have and easy to use, think of it this way. Don't think like that professional there filming this. Think of it like an MP3 player. You charge it, you plug it on, it works. Right? Not, not like that kind of MP3 play with Spotify and then you have to update the firmware. None of that. So if you're that kind of user, this is just perfect for you. Talking about MP3 players with like crazy features, check this out, Yichon. This is a $4,049 MP3 player from Sony. This is crazy. You know what? It's so crazy, I can't even press play. I, I don't even know how to press play and choose the song. Look at the name. NWWM1A. This MP3 player is so complicated, I tried to find the play button, I couldn't even get the songs to play. You know what? I just put down the headphone and the headphone was like three grand. So yeah, sometimes you gotta stop being a pro. Oh, pain. Actually, it's painful. Painful is good, which means that the clip is strong enough. I think this is like the smallest mic we have ever had, right? On the show. One of these days, Michael Bay gonna call me up and, 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 and go like, you know what? You know what? Cut, cut, stop.